Chapter 11, No Looking Back. In the grand theater of life, there are moments that resonate through the corridors of time, echoes of our past that reverberate in the chambers of our souls. Emily, like many others, knew this truth all too well. Her life had been a journey of twists and turns, a story written in the ink of mistakes and regrets. As she stood at the precipice of a pivotal moment, she found herself contemplating the age-old adage, no looking back. Go back to when you were much younger, they say. Rewind the tape of your life, correct the missteps, erase the disappointments, and rewrite history. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? The allure of changing one's past, of undoing the moments that haunt our sleepless nights. But reality is far less accommodating. You can't change the past. Not a single line of it. Even if you wished it with every fiber of your being, you can't, because it's the past. It's a realm locked away in the annals of time, immutable and unyielding. No amount of yearning, pleading, or bargaining can alter what has already been etched into the fabric of history. Emily had her fair share of past she wished she could change. Moments when fear had gripped her heart, moments when she had made choices that led to disappointment, moments when she had become a victim of her own misguided decisions. But here she was, standing on the precipice of a new chapter, a chance to redefine her future. The future, unlike the past, is a blank canvas. It's the here and now, an open field of possibilities waiting to be explored. It's a space where you can wield the brush and paint your own destiny, where the script is still being written, and the plot is yours to shape. Emily understood this, and it gave her hope. As she embarked on this new chapter of her life, the weight of her past mistakes hung heavy on her shoulders. The fear of repeating history loomed like a storm cloud on the horizon. But she was determined not to let the ghosts of her past dictate the course of her future. Regrets were like shadows that followed her, casting doubt on every decision she made. But she had learned that regrets, too, had their place in the tapestry of life. They were the reminders of the roads not taken, the choices that had led her astray. They were the cautionary tales that whispered in her ear, urging her to tread carefully. Change was never easy, especially when it required confronting the demons of the past. Emily knew that rewriting her history meant confronting her fears head on. It meant acknowledging her mistakes and learning from them. It meant embracing her past, flaws and all, and using it as a stepping stone to a brighter future. Afraid though she was, Emily found the courage within herself to face her history. She didn't have the power to change it, but she had the power to change herself. She could choose to be defined by her past, or she could choose to rise above it. It was a choice she made every day, a choice to be better, to do better, to become better. And. So, as Emily walked into the uncharted territory of her future, she carried with her the lessons of her past. She knew that her history was a part of her, an indelible mark on her soul. But she also knew that it didn't have to define her. It was a chapter in her life, but it wasn't the whole story. In the end, she understood that, no looking back, didn't mean forgetting the past. It meant not being shackled by it, not allowing it to hold her back. It meant moving forward with courage and determination, knowing that the future was hers to shape. So, to anyone who has ever felt the weight of their mistakes, the sting of regret, or the fear of the past, remember this. You can't change what's behind you, but you can always choose what's ahead. The past is a part of you, but it doesn't have to define you. Embrace your history, learn from it, and let it propel you toward a brighter future. Signed, Emily.